My name is Maren Bremer. I work at DTH in the Geothermal Energy and Geofluids Group in the Earth Science Department. Here I have my own group of young researchers, PhD students and postdocs, and we work on two big topics, which is geothermal exploration and geothermal operation. So we follow two main scientific questions, which is where to find the geothermal energy potential, and if we found it and already can use it, how to operate them in a sustainable and long-term way. Does Switzerland have a strong geothermal energy and geofluids potential? Yes, every country in the world has a geothermal energy potential. It's about using it. So the deeper you go, the hotter it gets. And the other thing you have to find are geofluids in the underground and geofluid pathways where they can move. So it's about finding a balance because the deeper you go, the hotter it gets, but the less fluids you will find. So it needs to be a balance between drilling deep, which is expansive and not so easy, or drilling more shallow and finding more fluids in the underground. One nice example in Switzerland is the geothermal power plant in Rien in Basel, which runs since 25 years. They didn't went so deep, but they found enough fluids to heat 50% of the people's buildings. How expensive is it to use geothermal energy? It is very expensive in the beginning to use geothermal energy, but very cheap in the long run. When building a power plant in the beginning, you have to drill two deep wells, which are very expensive. You have to pay about 10 million francs for two geothermal wells and about 10 to 15 million francs for the power plant at the surface. So in the beginning you will have a lot of, invest a lot of money, but in the long run it will be very cheap. For a geothermal power plant with two wells, which runs for 30 to 40 years, you have to pay about 8 rupen per kilowatt hour. What do you think of geothermal power plants in every commune? This is one option but it's actually not needed. We can build less geothermal power plants, but bigger ones, because you can transport the electricity and also the heat. So it would be enough to build a few power plants, but it's also an option. You could build a geothermal power plant in every commune, and that's actually one big advantage of geothermal energy. It's locally and independently available. How can the use of geothermal energy contribute to sustainability, and what opportunities do you see for it in the future? Geothermal energy is a sustainable energy source. It sustains itself because the Earth's center is so hot and we will never be able to cool down the Earth. The heat will always come from the Earth's center to the surface and we can use that forever. If we would use the geothermal energy potential worldwide, we could heat and provide electricity for the population of the world for many million of years. What are the risks in using geothermal energy? The technical risks are related to earthquakes, which occur naturally in Switzerland a lot, but they can also be induced like it was the case in Basel. This technology has developed a lot, and here at ETH, um, the seismology group, they developed a traffic light system, which now warns us if earthquakes might occur due to geothermal energy use. It will warn us and we can shut down the activities and be on a safe site. What are the popular numerical modeling approaches in your field? Numerical modeling is a very important and very useful tool in geothermal energy because it can combine a lot of data. So we go to the field, we measure, we also do lab experiments, and numerical modeling will help us at the end to combine all this knowledge, all this data into one tool. So it will help us understanding thermal, hydraulic, mechanical, and also chemical processes and their interaction. And seeing them at the same time in our numerical models helps us to use geothermal energy in a more sustainable way. One of the advantages in our scientific group here at ETH and the Geothermal Energy and Geofluids group is that we also develop new software codes. One of those codes is called Reactoro and it calculates the equilibrium of the fluids in the underground. And understanding them and modeling them and also forecasting them helps us to avoid some risk in the future and worldwide huge companies already implement that code because it's so fast on helping us understanding the processes better.